And what we're going to go through is sort of a, a little checklist of things that I do before I call a piece done. And it starts as soon as you're done with the painting and finish top coat. And the first thing I'm going to do is wipe it out again. What I do is take all the drawers that I've painted and look them over. And although these were cleaned when we started this project, by the time that you're done with the project, they've had time to get dusty, little things where you've set them on the floor or what have you, but just, just go through and check them over. Make sure the wood feels nice and smooth. You have things like little, little bits of paint where you've, you know, set them somewhere that, you know, the surface wasn't completely clean or what have you. Just go through sandpaper and make sure that that's nice and smooth. Okay. If you have dovetails, it might be good to give them a little sand to make them show up. I'm just doing this with a 220. That way everything is nice and smooth. Check the bottom, make sure that you've not left anything dirty on there last thing you want is when the client comes to pick this piece up and they go to take the drawers out and put it in their vehicle you don't want them seeing all dirty nasty drawers if you're going to do this and you're going to run sandpaper along the edges of a piece i suggest that you either get one of these sanding discs or a sanding mouse and what that does is it keeps the it keeps your sandpaper flat because if I were to sand this by hand, it would kind of round over and possibly mess up my paint job on the front. So, or you can wrap a piece of wood with a piece of sandpaper, just something so that you're, you're sure that you're flat if you're sanding. Another thing, right here, you can see where I got paint right there. And the last thing that I want is when they go to open these drawers, it just looks messy. I don't want that. So I'm gonna again, just take my sandpaper and just sand that off. Now, I also want a nice crisp line here. I've not taped that very well. I'll have to go back and just take me a line there and sand that off. So I'm gonna do that right now. This will take a minute of time and just make it look so much more professional. The reason that I'm going through this is that I was in a shop this week and I looked at a piece and someone had sprayed it and the spray job looked pretty good. But when I opened the drawers, there was the most horrendous overspray all over the sides of it. And immediately, I was just shocked and couldn't believe that someone would let that out of a shop. But um, just just keep that in mind that your clients, they're, they're going to look this stuff over, you know, and you don't want them opening that drawer and seeing that. So, you know, think about what you want to see on a piece when you put it out the door, if you're selling and even if you're not selling, even if you're just doing this for your house, you know, you want to feel nice about it at the end of the day.